LA 31 meteorologist Grace Anello joins us now with the latest on the track of Hurricane Fiona. Yeah, Grace, this storm also hit the Dominican Republic really hard mm -hmm. and the Turks and Caicos as it's moving north. It did. It did. And Dan, we're certainly praying for and thinking of all of those families that have been affected. And it's such great news to hear, Nikel, that some of them will have power back between tonight and tomorrow. I mean, it's just incredible. I'm so happy to hear that. Well, even still, Fiona is strengthening and it's still having gusty winds of up to about 155 miles an hour. Just about three Three hours ago, we were wet measuring gusts of up to about 140 miles an hour. So just proving the point that it is strengthening. Now the system is tracking north and east and it will become a category four before too long. It's going to stay away from the United States, but the most dangerous part of hurricanes is actually their storm surge. That's the major waves that go up onto land. And of course, our eastern shoreline is at slight risk of that. So if you have loved ones in that area, make sure they're doing all they can to take those precautions so that we can all stay safe. Well, a little bit closer to home, the way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is dry and clear at the moment. We're going to stay this way for the rest of this evening and even into tomorrow. And take a look at this beautiful view, our Space and Rocket Center camera. I mean, it just doesn't hardly get any more beautiful than this. You know, Huntsville is still beautiful. We're seeing hardly a cloud in the sky tonight, and that's really the case all across North Alabama in Southern Tennessee. What's also the case all across North Alabama in Southern Tennessee is some very, very warm temperatures and some muggy conditions. We're talking 73 in Scottsboro, 77 in Gunnersville. Good night to you as you head to bed this evening and 74 in Malton as well. So good night to all of you. These temperatures are going to stay warm for us. We're on the warmer side as we head through the wee hours of the morning. Now our overnight low temperature will be in the upper 60s. We will have just a few clouds in the sky, but most of us will have completely clear conditions. Well, as you get the kiddos off to school first thing tomorrow morning or get yourself off to work, it's going to be a little bit warmer than what we're used to and especially warmer than what we saw last week. We're talking about a morning temperature really for your bus stop there at 70. So that is a little bit warmer. We're going to be on the muggy side as well. So we will be feeling like the low to mid 70s, but at least there will be plenty of sunshine for us. That's definitely a great way to start the day, right? Well, our Wednesday high temperature will be in the upper 90s. Now, this is the hottest temperature we have seen in quite some time. And once we factor in the humidity, we could be feeling like the low 100s. So make sure you stay hydrated. If there's an opportunity to get in the shade or take a rest inside the air conditioning, make sure you do that as well. Of course, North Alabamians know how to take care in the heat, but this is significantly warmer than what we're used to seeing for this time of year. The good news is we'll catch a little bit of relief relief from a northeasterly breeze at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. The other good news is that we will cool off significantly after we get past Wednesday. By the time we get to Thursday, we've moved to the low 90s and then we push into the 80s for the rest of the work week and through the weekend after that. So we do have that high temperature of 97 on Wednesday. Thursday brings the autumnal equinox and the official start of meteorological fall. But really, it's Friday morning after a cold front before we start to feel like fall with high temperatures in the mid 80s. It's next week before we see the low 80s come back to us and that's thanks to a little bit of rain, but I think some folks are going to be pretty excited for that.